They say you never know what someone is going through. An emotional breakup, a death in the family, stress from school, or stress from war in your home country. Danilo Vexler is a senior political science major. He graduates in December. I'm going to be a super senior, yeah. He's lived in the United States for a few years now. He came here as a teenager to play football at Mercyhurst Prep in Erie. After he graduated high school, he went to Allegheny College in Meadville for one semester and then transferred here to Edinburgh. Russia has attacked Ukraine and its people, upending security and stability in Europe. It's one thing to watch the war if you've never been to Ukraine or you're not from there. Biden has indicated he has no... We have air raid sirens here right, right in Kiev, if you hear that behind me. But it's different for Danilo. It hits home because Ukraine is home. Well, originally, I'm from the, like, the outer eastern part, like the most eastern, like right next to the Russian border. But when the first war started in 2014 and forced my family to move to the opposite side in the west, to Lviv. That first war he's talking about is the Russian annexation of the Crimean Peninsula of Ukraine. It was a military operation in early 2014 where Russian troops invaded places like airports and military bases. It was crazy. They, the whole region that we were living in, the whole our lives, it got occupied by these Russian militants. Separate, like they just decided to separate from Ukraine. I don't know where. He was last in Ukraine a few months ago, right before the invasion began. Everyone seemed kind of skeptical about Russians because they've been triggering everyone for past years, you know? So everybody was just skeptical that it's another provocation, taunting type of deal. So everybody was just living their own life like we do here every day. He called this triggering Russian games, games they were used to because Russia had been playing them for years. But when these games turned into war... On the first night, I wasn't sleeping. I started getting messages from all my friends, all my family, the news resources that our capital is being bombed and they're coming from like three directions. I was just shocked. I couldn't sleep, eat, go to classes. Yeah, it was pretty bad. While his parents are taking in refugees in their apartment in Lviv, some of his friends have joined the Ukrainian military. My football teammates, a lot of them are patriots. We're all patriots of Ukraine to the like highest standard, I'd say. A lot of people were feeling this call for being patriotic and just going to protect your own land. As far as he knows, none of his friends have been hurt so far. As for his own future, that's still up in the air. I was thinking First emotions took took over me and I was thinking for a couple of days of finding a way of going to Ukraine and serving in military with all my friends and protecting the borders. But then it, it I don't know, I was thinking of going there in the end of the semester, honestly, but who knows where it may go, you know, anything can change.